Tutorial 39 Inventor for Beginners. In this tutorial, we'll be advanced topic in sketching after we already covered the basic sketching tools. Let's start a sketch, choose plane. So let's remind you we already covered the basic sketching tools here and we make some examples and work with them in the previous tutorials the constraint dimensioning geometry and so on also we talked in the previous tutorial in the beginning of the tutorial about the patterns the sketch patterns circular pattern and mirror that was in tutorial number 11 so if you want to review that topic you can see that tutorials also we talked about the modify sections in tutorial number 12 if you want to review them you can see them and here is an advanced features the layout it requires some 3d parts so we're going to use them later how to create a sketch from an excited part and so on to get some kind of complicated surfaces or profiles and in this tutorial we're going to also talk about advanced sketching with picture so here you have the insert menu and you have insert picture so mainly the insert picture is not just for showing some kind of picture or putting a picture on uh, profile you made or something for decoration also it is uh, a more important use to be like a help, helping method in advanced sketching for example when you are drawing some kind of complicated surfaces on paper scanning that paper import it to this inventor and start drawing your or making your sketch so let's now insert a picture, go insert, and you will see the picture you have, you are able to insert. I'm going to insert the picture of blade, which we already made in the inventor tutorials. You place it in the place you want, place it here. So you are able to place many copies, but in this case one copy will be enough, then skip. So now you are inserted your picture. So you'll notice you are not able to move it from the origin point because there's already a constraint. So let's show that constraint. You have this constraint. Let's delete it. click on it simply delete escape now you are able to move your sketch also you are able to apply some of the constraint here so let's place it in a place we want and one thing you can also control a no the dimension of your sketch add a dimension you can add 200 so you know where is your scale escape to deactivate the dimensioning and place it again here so now you have a reference picture where you can follow and make your advanced sketching so let's try to create this complicated profile around this plate. Let's try to see which type of tools we can use. Let's try the arc here as we, as we learned how to use it. Two points arc and let's add it here. So now we are matching that profile. And you are done escape let's try to make this second edge you can try the tangent arc so this 
this is like good repetition for the tool we use so now we have a tangent r we can add it here control set this zoom choose this point and this point and again try to use the r if to work let's make this point this point so as you notice the arc is not fitting well in this case so we go to the second option the asp line which we said it is the tool of advanced surfacing and sketching so let's start the asp line here make some points trying to match the edges and try to use as less points as possible taking in mind to have the points to control your profile so here we have and as we learned in the spline lesson how to, to move the handle here you can continue working until you get the shape you want then when you are done you can click finish so you have your comp that profile created if you don't want the image you can just delete it this again sketch select the image delete finish the sketch so you have only the profile you wanted. So this lesson gave you an introduction to the advanced sketching and surfacing.